Hey folks, um, I wanted to take a minute and show you guys how to um, how to work with the gradebook in Moodle with the new Math 080 shell. I have created, I've gone ahead and put all of the assignments from the syllabus in the gradebook. So if you look at the syllabus, you see we have three midterms, one final, 11 labs, five reflect, or um, 12 weeks worth of reflections, five points a piece, there's a total of 12 reflections. Um, seven quizzes, but we're dropping the lowest one, so we'll take six quizzes. And 12 homeworks, each worth 10 points a piece. So when you go to categories and items, what you're going to see is I have, let me back this out a little bit. Um, you see that I've got all of the 12 weeks of reflections, all the labs in here, all the homeworks in here, all the quizzes, it's already set up to drop the lowest quiz grade. All three midterms, the final exams. And then down here, I have a special area for extra credits. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the extra credit at the end. But um, the main thing I want to bring to your attention is um, I really wanted to set this up so you guys could um, didn't have a lot of trouble with the gradebook itself. But um, we have a problem with the Moodle gradebook in that um, it normally will keep all of your points tallied so your students will be starting with a grade of zero and then as the semester progresses it accumulates their points and then their grade starts to come up which it never really gives them a really good accurate estimate of what their grade is in the course so what I've done is I figured out a workaround for this if you look at this column right here um, it says extra credit and what happens is if you have these boxes checked what it's going to do is it doesn't actually factor these grades into the total. So when you look down here at the course total, right now we have zero points. So again, at the beginning of the semester, the students haven't really done anything. So what you guys need to do is when you finish, um, when your students get through week one material, um, they will have completed week one reflections and um, lab one that week, and then homework one that week. So when you put these into the grade book, to get these to start to factor into their grades, what you need to do is you need to uncheck these boxes. So we would uncheck the box for week one reflections. We would uncheck the box for lab one. And then we would uncheck the box of homework one. And then we go down here to save changes. And when you look down in this course total now, you're going to see that it's now factoring those 25 points into the grade. And then you can go and go to the view. Um, we would go to homework. And we could go into homework. Again, you're going to have some students populated in this list. And you can go in there now and go to column grader and you can put those different grades in. Then you can go to out of class reflections and you can put those grades in. And what that's going to do is that's going to keep that tallied list of points th for your students. So at the bottom of the um, of their grade view page, it actually gives them an accurate indication percentage and grade letter um, of what their grade is at that time. Um, so as you go through the weeks, whenever you put something into the Moodle gradebook, again, all of those assignments are populated in the gradebook. You need to just make sure you go to categories and items and you uncheck extra credit box and save that as you go through the course. And by the time you get to the end of the course, um, all of these should be unchecked as we go through that progression, okay? So, um, so that's what I need you to do as far as the extra credit. Again, if this doesn't make sense to you, please schedule a meeting with me or send me an email and say, I'm not really sure what you're talking about and I can sit down and go through this with you. Um, but this is just the best way that we have to um, get your students to have an accurate reading of your grade and allow me to set up the grade book for you. Now, if you look, we can give 5% of our total grade in extra credit. So um, real quick, let me get these boxes checked. Um, so if you look right here, you'll see that um, in the extra credit spot, I've got this whole, I've got the extra credit set up for you. And we're allowed to give 50 points of extra credit. Now, I am going to include in the assessments folder I'm sending you these two assignments. They're two 15 point assignments. They're five questions, three, point a, three points a piece. Um, give one of 
these to the students after midterm two and give the other one to them after midterm three. Um, if you would like to do some other form of extra credit, credit that's fine too. Um, just let me know. Then down here for extra credit three and four, I'm going to leave this up to you guys. It's however you want to assign that extra credit. If you have another worksheet you want to design for them, if you want me to make something for you, if you want to give them extra credit for doing some sort of activity in class, that's fine. Um, but there's where you're going to put in those values. So um, this is already factored in. You don't need to check or uncheck anything in extra credit when you put that in. All you need to do is just to go to view, um, go to extra credit, and just go ahead and put the grades in extra credit. Again, you're going to have students' names in here, so you're going to be able to type in values. So that's kind of a quick overview of the grade book. That's how you're going to put the grades in. Um, again, please, please, please don't hesitate to contact me. I, the only reason I set it up this way is because I felt like this is the easiest way. We have a lot of assignments in this Math 080 course, and this is going to be the easiest way for me to get those all in there for you so you guys don't have to spend a long time setting this grade book up. So I hope this helps. Um, don't hesitate to contact me if you have any questions.